She has a new film opening called Cold Heaven. Please welcome Teresa Russell. Teresa. <laughs> Teresa, you look natty tonight. Why, thank you. Yeah, you look nice. So do you. Oh, well, thank you. Um, <laughs> now, uh, you, you always seem to me that I, I'm, and I might be over speaking my bounds here, but you seem to choose roles that are interesting as opposed to uh, overtly commercial. Is that a conscious choice or there are just not that many commercial roles out there for women per year? Well, there's not that many out there. Also, I, I, do, I do tend to do what makes me happy and fulfilled creatively and all mm -hmm. that other junk but <laughs> as you come striding out though i see you uh you could have did hand that rocks the cradle were you interested in that i or never you... even hear about it no because uh -huh. that's a big commercial hit yeah, for her and you yeah that's you know... great good for her yeah um now this is your sixth <laughs> like, what are you talking about well i'm just saying i thought you looked a little bit like rebecca durene as you came around Maybe the corner like me. yeah that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm referee at a cat fight. I was, uh, I was trying to be nice, damn it. Uh, now this Wait, is... If you must uh, have a problem with women, then, if you compliment them by telling them they look like somebody else. Well, know. of course you know I'm gay. <laughs> so I don't know how to be with you gals. Um... All right, all right. Let me get off the whole. Well, you know, you just look similar to me, but you're right. She, she, uh, she looks like you. And jeez, I'm really off to a bad start here. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite color? <laughs> all right. Tell me about this new film. This is uh, Cold Heaven. Your sixth film with your husband, Nick Rogue. You all know her husband. No. Yes. Oh, come on. Yeah. There you go. Well, I know your husband. I enjoy his work. Uh, what's this one about? Tell me about Cold Heaven. Well, it's about um, marriage and spirituality and commitment and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah. How's yeah. Your, uh, how, how does your marriage hold up under the rigors of working with your husband so frequently? <laughs> you have a nice working relationship? Yeah, we do. It's, it's, it's hard. I mean, it's, it's positive and negative. I mean, the negative side is if we do have a disagreement on the set, you know, a lot of people, you know, the crew members will come and they'll, like, sit down and want to really see what the punch-up's gonna be about. But if it's a husband and wife, they get really uptight and want to disappear. Right. You know, but those are the, luckily that doesn't happen very often. You can tell he's from Europe with the punch-up. My wife's from Europe too, and I never had punch-up in my vocabulary <laughs> till I married so, her. Punch-up is uh, what almost happened earlier between her and I when, I when I said, now do we have a clip from this film? We're gonna look at a clip of this? Cold Heaven? It's a little clip. Teresa's film, let's watch. <laughs> I know this place. I know this place. I've never spoken of it or of you until last week in confession. I dreamed a dream that happens here. That happens to you. the nun's clip, wasn't it? I don't know. We'll be right back with Teresa Russell after this, folks. Hey, hey, hey. Back. We're back with Teresa Russell. Now, you know, I, I tend to think that some people might believe you're like a, a European actress or something. You're actually from the valley, right? I know. I'm a valley girl. My first boyfriend was a surfer. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, of course, the valley girl character. <laughs> yes. uh, I guess it's because your husband, he seems like uh, Nick Rogue. That's just so European, it seems to me. What, what film did you meet him on? Bad timing. Yeah? Um, did you know pretty nice quickly? <laughs> 
Yeah, I would say, I, I would say it was love at first sight. Yeah. I mean, I waited, though, till we were filming a while before we actually did anything. Yeah. <laughs> Can't I didn't want him to think I was easy, and that was why I was getting the part, you know? <laughs> Oh, part. sorry, you mean the film part. I, uh... <laughs> uh, now you have two children, right? This is correct. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to be nice. You, have, you have children, too. Yeah, I have one little boy named Holden. And uh, what, are, what are your kids' names? Staten and Maxim. Staten? And Maximilian, yeah. Oh, that's a neat name. What Staten is it? Jack. This is my great-grandfather's name. He was an Iowa farmer, and... I just thought it was a cool name. Yeah, Staten, that's cool. Yeah. Now, um, you, your first, was your first film uh, The Last Tycoon? That's right, I was 18. What was it like doing your first film with Kazan? I actually read Kazan's book and he mentioned it in, in oh, there. Really? He, yeah, I think he, he just said he, he said nice things about you. What was it, imposing working with him right off the bat? Well, I, I was so young and stupid. You know, I, I just thought it was a great thing. I'm, also, I was trained method, so everybody kind of worshiped Zan and all this stuff so um, I didn't even think I was gonna get the part I was just really thrilled to even get there into a couple meetings you know just to hear what he had to say about stuff you know, it, was, it was it was great do the disciples of method find it odd that the two gurus of method uh, I, according to the book at least they didn't even seem to get along was that a big schism in the community there between Kazan and well, Strasbourg well by the time the book came out I mean they're he was already dead, Strasbourg, but I suppose in the earlier days of, of the actor studio and all that, yeah, it was. Because they had to started the actor studio together, and you, this is boring. They don't want to know about this. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I was, I was kind of interested. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just me. Okay, let's talk about uh, what won't bore them. No, uh, no, it was, it was great, though. I'd love crowd. to talk about it. <laughs> Uh, what about working with Soderberg on Kafka? I just saw that, and uh, was yeah, that a good he's time? Yeah, so, he's so clever. Have you seen that? Is that for you? Yeah. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was different being directed by someone younger than me, though. <laughs> it was hard to get used to. He's like 26 years old. He's just unbelievable. He has a great eye. I, I love the moment mean... when they get into the castle and it goes color. That yeah. was, so, was such a yeah, weird yeah. moment. I know. I really like that film. I'm to be yeah. What was the flap about uh, horror? How did you stand up to that? It seems so odd to me that people would. Uh, it seemed like everybody got in an uproar just about the name. And I the... was just. I don't know what that was about because it's not. It wasn't explicit sexually, and it wasn't overly violent, and there was bad language. But you know, I mean, so a lot of these gang type films are as well. It would have been ludicrous to make her not talk like that. Right. Um, so. I don't know what it was about. I, I really don't. If it's about a feeling, that's kind of scary, isn't it? That you can put an, that kind of rating on something because it made you feel a certain way, you know? I don't... What was it, NC-17? Yeah. Mm. It seems odd to me about the age thing, doesn't it? That it it's does, an age. Yeah. Shouldn't it be like IQ-80 or something? You know, <laughs> no. it's, uh, it should have something to do with other than age. Uh, now, some people would say, you know, that you know, horror is maybe too realistic a depiction, but for God's sake, so many people decried uh, Pretty Woman for, you know, it's, I, I liked Pretty Woman. Yeah. I'm a softie. I, I thought it was a sweet it. film, but yeah. obviously many of the hookers on uh, Sunset Boulevard <laughs> don't go home with Richard Gere. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's it's just not always All that the night. ones I talk to, that never happened. Yeah. I hate it when that happens. Yeah, well, it'd probably be a lot crowded or street if it could happen out there. I'd yeah. Get the feeling you'd have to take straws. Um, so all in all, I'm going to ask you, how do you rate the interview? Now, you think I was boring? I was asking about Kazan. And I'm just trying to learn yeah, for future things. Here. I have nice green eyes? Yeah. Wow. Uh, interview was a success for me. I'm going to work on my technique. I'll have you back next time. But I wanted to know about Kazan. I'm fascinated no, no, by it. 18-year-old yeah. kid meeting an old master like that. Absolutely. It sounded interesting. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Teresa Russell, folks, and the film is Cold Heaven. We'll be right back. Music from Lloyd Cole.